Hello, this is Maeve Hamrick, and I'm coming to you with another old computer experiences video. Today we're going to look at the Xerox Alto. The, uh, the Alto was a research computer built by Xerox in the 1970s. It was intended, uh, it was never intended to be a commercial product, it was always intended to be a research uh, system. So researchers inside uh, Xerox, uh, especially at the famous Xerox Palo Alto Research Center in Palo Alto, California, used it to develop new ideas, uh, new concepts in computing. Um, so today we're going to look at the Bravo text editor. Bravo was probably the first WYSIWYG, or what you see is what you get, text editor. We, we take these things all for granted these days, but you know there had to be a first one. Before this time, if you wanted to create style text, you used a, uh, a, a markup language like NROF or something or, or some equivalent. Um, so you'd have all of these uh, funky codes inside your text. And you know it required you to know all of those codes and figure out how they interacted. So the researchers at, uh, at PARC decided they would, would try to come up with something that was a little easier for people to use. So let's start up Bravo here. So I'm starting it up with the slash e option, which gives us, uh, which automatically opens the sample document, and I've created a different sample document, <laughs> you know, specific uh, to me trying to demonstrate the, the Bravo text editor. So Bravo is a modal text editor, which means that you know it starts up and you don't start typing. You have to, you know, enter it. Uh, enter commands. You have to get it into an insert mode. So the cool thing though is you use the mouse pointer to create, uh, to identify the, the the insertion point where you want to insert text. So uh, I put the selection, uh, I selected the end of that sentence and I type I for insert and now I can start typing. And of course I hit escape when I'm done. Uh, I mean, that's obvious, right? Um, so again, this might be uh, kind of weird for modern users, although uh, programmers that use the VI text editor, this might, might seem familiar. Uh, uh, VI comes from a long line of text editors that had this, this characteristic. Uh, Ed, VI, Tico, uh, all of these different text editors were modal in the same way. Um, now, interestingly, the text that I just entered after I hit the escape key uh, is selected. It's underlined, and in Bravo, that means that it is selected. Remember, we're we're a modal editor, so we enter in commands. Let's uh, let's change the look and feel of that that line of text. I would type the L command for look, and and maybe B to bold it. So look at that. I've created bold text, and uh, if I want to. It's still selected, so if I want to uh, uh, make it italic, italicize it, I do L I, yay. Um, if I want to unbold it, I would do L Shift B and L Shift I un italicizes it. Uh, in theory, I could also delete it by hitting the D key. There we go. Um, so hopefully you, you noticed what was going on up here while I was doing that. Uh, the line up here uh, listed what mode I was in. Uh, we have a little, we, we have a, a note here about you know what I just did. Uh, along here, uh, the text inside these uh, uh, curly braces is the text that I just operated on and uh, uh, also, I guess the text that I will operate on in the future. Uh, interestingly, Bravo has a scroll bar. Okay, so this was before the concept of a modern scroll bar where you had a proportional thumb uh, or you had a thumb at all. Uh, in Bravo, you just move your mouse pointer over to the left side of the screen and you get a new get a new pointer indicating that you're in the scroll bar. So you hit the, uh, let's see if I get this right, you hit the right button or left button to scroll down. So 
we can scroll down by repeatedly hitting the right button in the scroll bar. We scroll up by hitting, hitting the left button. Uh, my understanding is that some versions of the Alto, uh, the buttons were in a vertical column. They weren't in a horizontal row. So this is another <laughs> another innovation that we get from uh, from Xerox Park and the Alto, is that the whole concept of mouse buttons being side by side in a horizontal row instead of a vertical column, uh, that came from experimenting, and uh, you know at Park. Uh, so uh, what else can we do here? Let's let's scroll down a little bit more. Do 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 do, and I'll show you another thing. Uh, Right, so this lists the fonts that all come with uh, with Bravo by default. Uh, selecting is kind of cool. To select something, you position your mouse cursor over it, and you hit the right button. Then you move over and you select the end of your selection, and hit the uh, the rightmost button. So I've now selected this text. I really prefer that because the modern way of selecting is to do uh, you know click and drag, but if you have uh, uh, any sort of RSI that that can be uh, that can be painful. Uh, several years ago, I had an RSI and, and and found that you know clicking and dragging was painful. It was really irritating to have to use a tool which actually hurt. So uh, I really prefer. You know, I, I like this idea. I wish it would make a comeback. Maybe I'll write some software that we select text, we select the beginning and end of uh, of selection uh, by using different mouse buttons. Uh, well, okay. So now that this text is selected, we can do stuff to it. Let's uh, let's change the the font. So if we wanted to change it to uh, Helvetica, we would go L for look because we're going to change the look and six. Oh my gosh, that is kind of ugly. <laughs> so let's go back to L0. So another interesting bit of the selection is that you can select it, uh, select by word, right? So I just hit the middle mouse button, and now I'm going to click the right button. And that selected all of the words. So if you click the middle mouse button, that means select word. Uh, the rightmost mount, or excuse me, the leftmost mouse button means select character. Um, so yeah, again, let's see what we can do about uh, making this look. Uh, let's just change the look and feel of it. L8, and yeah, and let's make it bold. What the heck? Yay! Okay, now. We saw the invisible scroll bar. There's another invisible paragraph selection bar <laughs> to the the right or to the left of each paragraph. Um, to create a paragraph, you have to enter. You have to type Control Carriage Return uh, instead of Plain Old Carriage Return. And once you do that, uh, you know text between two Control CRs is considered a paragraph. Uh, so now that uh, uh, so this text is in a paragraph, so we can actually go over here uh, to the not a scroll bar, but the paragraph, the hidden paragraph selection bar, um, and click the middle button. There we go. And the mouse pointer is turned to the paragraph symbol, indicating that we know that we've uh, uh, we've selected a paragraph. Um, and now I can. Um, I could delete it with a D. I don't really want to do that. Uh, but let's do an L, uh, C. So yeah. So that turned it into centering mode. So we're 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 centered. We can turn it back to justified text with L J. Look justified. You'll notice there is uh, no menu. Uh, no menu as we would normally, no menu bar up here, right? So the way that you uh, save documents uh, is just simply to, you know, do a P. 
So I type P, it says, oh, just type the name that you want to save it to. Well, okay, I don't really want to save over it, so I'll just hit escape, escape out. Anyway, so uh, this is what the Bravo text editor looked like. Uh, you can definitely see the beginnings of uh, modern WYSIWYG text editors. Uh, it's clearly, uh, clearly alien <laughs> in the way that it uh, ha is modal, and you have to, you know, enter uh, commands before you can start typing. Uh, the fonts, I believe, look like you know Macrite. So it's a really cool uh, combination of old and new. You can definitely see the development from older systems, uh, you know, like Ed or VI, uh, to more more modern WYSIWYG text editors. All right, so thank you for listening, and I hope this has been been interesting. Take care.